Ukrainian special forces snipers in the battle for Bahmut are fighting against what they've alleged is a drugged up, zombie-like army that often outnumbers them 10 to 1. The current battle cry echoing across Ukraine is Bahmut holds as Russian forces try to gain control. Thousands of Russian forces have died trying to take Bahmut, with Kiev claiming that the number of Russian forces eliminated over the preceding 24 hours had again exceeded four figures. In an update, the general staff of the Ukrainian armed forces said that 1,060 Russian personnel had been eliminated the previous day, taking Moscow's total losses since the start of the invasion to 155.530. While defending the Barmut front line, Ukrainian special forces snipers claim have eliminated more than 150 Russian forces. In a footage shows Ukrainian special forces snipers taking out of Russian forces on the Bahmut front. Deadly Ukrainian special forces snipers tracks Russian forces on a foggy battlefield before unleashing fatal shots from distance. According to reports, one soldier was wounded and another was eliminated in this attack from a remarkable distance in misty conditions. Besides, in cooperation with the aerial surveillance forces of the National Guard of Ukraine, the modern units of the Ukrainian State Border Guard Service have eliminated at least seven Wagner Group's mercenaries in the Bamu. The relevant statement was made by the Ukrainian Internal Affairs Ministry on Telegram, and Ukraine Foreign Correspondent reports. In particular, a group of Russia's Wagner mercenaries attempted to attack one of Ukrainian strongholds in Bamu. In close combat, Ukrainian defenders stopped them. Having lost some of their forces, Russians began to retreat. The National Guard members tracked them down with a drone, and the modern units of the Ukrainian State Border Guard Service eliminated at least seven Russian invaders. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the Kursan region, the artillery units of the naval forces of the armed forces of Ukraine have destroyed Russia's T-72 tank. The relevant video was posted by the naval forces of the armed forces of Ukraine on Telegram, and Ukraine Forum correspondent reports. A reminder that, on March 6, 2023, the naval forces of the armed forces of Ukraine eliminated 24 Russian invaders and destroyed an enemy ammunition depot. Yeah, While as reported by Reuters, the head of Russia's Wagner mercenary group claims his forces have taken full control of the eastern part of the Ukrainian city of Bahmut, scene of one of the bloodiest battles of the year-long war. If the claim is true, it would mean Russian forces control nearly half the city in their costly push to secure their first big victory in several months. Ukrainian defenders remain defiant, however, Last week they appeared to be preparing for a tactical retreat from Barmut, but military and political leaders are speaking of hanging onto positions and inflicting as many casualties as possible on the Russian assault force. Wagner head Yevgeny Prigazin said his fighters, who have been spearheading the Russian campaign to seize Barmut, had captured the city's east. Everything east of the Bakhmutka River is completely under the control of Wagner, Prigazin said on Telegram. The river bisects Barmut City, which sits on the edge of a swath of Donetsk region that is already largely under Russian occupation. Prigazin has issued premature success claims before, and Reuters was not able to verify his latest one. Ukrainian military statements said earlier there might be conditions in Barmut for a Ukrainian offensive. The main task of our troops in Bahmut is to grind the enemy's fighting capability, to bleed their combat potential, Sarah Cheravatyi, a representative for Ukraine's Eastern Military Command, told Public Television. The general staff of the Ukraine's armed forces said in its Wednesday morning report, the enemy, despite significant losses, continues to storm the town of Bahmut. Russia, which claims to have annexed nearly 20% of Ukraine's territory, has made progress in recent weeks around Bahmut but its winter offensive has yielded no significant gains in assaults further north and south. It says taking Barmut would be a step towards seizing the industrial Donbass region, made up of the Nets and Luhansk provinces. Western analysts say Barmut has little strategic value, 
but Kiev says the losses suffered by Russia there could determine the course of the war. With decisive battles expected later this year when the weather is better and Ukraine receives more military aid, including heavy battle tanks. The months of warfare there have been among the deadliest and most destructive since Russia invaded in February last year, adding Bakhmut's name to a list of devastated cities such as Mariupol, Sivir Odonetsk, and Lysikansk. The situation in the city is difficult. The enemy actively storms our positions. However, they don't have any success and suffer colossal losses, a Ukrainian border guard said in a video released by the State Border Service. Probably out of spite, they tried to blow up two bridges. But we still receive everything that we need. The city stands because Bahmut was, is, and will be Ukraine. We'll stay in touch.